Eddie Hearn recently announced the rescheduled date for Dylan White versus Alexander Povetkin, and it is March 6th. So not too long away. And I have to imagine that's a provisional date, a provisional announcement, because things can change in our current situation. But I wonder what's really been going on with Alexander Povetkin. Because Dylan White has his doubts about the official reason the fight has been pushed back several times. And the, the reality is fighters do use bogus excuses to push fights back. That does happen. Now, I'm not saying Povetkin did it, but it's possible that he did. You know, the people making out as though it's impossible for Povetkin to have taken something and used it as an excuse when really the issue was something else. People who act as though that's impossible, well, they're either very naive <laughs> or they just don't like one, one of the fighters or the other fighter. Because the reality is that stuff does go on in boxing. Do you think it's only David Hay who comes up with fake injuries and <laughs> all these kind of things to either get out of a fight or get a fight pushed back? Loads of fighters do that. So I'm interested in what the real situation is with Povetkin. Maybe it's exactly as he says, or maybe not. Maybe it's like Dylan White said, that Povetkin took a lot of damage in their first fight and at his age, 41 years old, he needed more time to recover. Maybe he needed more time to recover from the physical damage. Because he did take more physical damage than Dylan White. Dylan White took one good uppercut and some body shots. But Povetkin took some heavy jabs, right hands, uppercut. He took a lot more power shots in that fight than Dylan White did. And, you know, Dylan White's scars are going to be more mental, psychological. Whereas Povetkin's are probably going to be physical, you know? The actual punishment that he took in that fight was nothing to scoff at. And we don't know what his training situation has been like, whether he's picked up niggles and issues in training, whether Povetkin's saying, you know what, I'm old and I can't recover the way I used to, even from the training sessions. I'm going to need more time. That fight against Dylan White Turned out to be real tough. I had to pull it out of the bag when I'd been down in the previous round twice. So maybe Povetkin's thinking, I just I need more preparation time. I don't want to go in. I'm sure that Povetkin was disappointed and did not like the first four rounds of that Dylan White fight. <laughs> the first four. I'm sure he did not like that. Yeah, he got certain things done, but he didn't like being on the end of that heavy jab. He didn't like the fact he got dropped twice in the fourth. This is not what Povetkin envisioned for himself going into that fight. So in the rematch, surely he's going to want, maybe not, you know, perhaps he can't expect to be what he was like in his prime, but he's hoping for a better performance, I think. And therefore that might demand, probably will demand, better and longer preparation. So I don't know, I, I suspect, I could be wrong, but I suspect that Dylan White might be onto something when he says that Povetkin's buying time because he wants better prep. He might be onto something there. Now, people have got mixed views in terms of who this favors. Some say it favors Dylan White. Some say it favors Povetkin in terms of the fight being delayed like this. I think it favors them both. I think, you know, at the age Povetkin is, the extra prep time is definitely going to help him. But from a psychological point of view, the extra time is going to help Dylan White heal from those mental scars. I'm not sure if he will have healed 100% or even close to that. I'm not saying that he won't. I'm saying I'm not sure because you get a lot of these jokers who always try and misquote me, misinterpret the things that I say. I'm on the fence. I don't know. I'm interested to find out where Dylan White's going to be at mentally. What's he going to be like when he gets hit on the chin again? It's fascinating. So I think this is the right fight for Dylan White to take. The Povetkin rematch next. All the talk of him taking on Ruiz and Ortiz and all these other guys. I didn't see that as a wise move for Dylan White right now. I'd like to see him in with those opponents. 
maybe after Povetkin, if he can't get a shot straight away or, you know, down the line. But as for his next fight, no, it needs to be Alexander Povetkin, in my view. That's the most sensible thing. It's like Floyd Mayover used to say back in the days. And obviously he used this as an excuse not to fight people that he should have been fighting. But nonetheless, he would say, so-and-so has got such and such problems. <laughs> so, <laughs> that didn't really make much sense. <laughs> Probably didn't sound like it made sense, but he would say Dylan White still got Povetkin problems. He'd use that as an excuse not to fight somebody, you know. Uh, and that's not just in a case where somebody lost their last fight against uh, whoever. But even if they'd lost the fight three, four fights back, oh, he's still got Danny Garcia problems, or he's still got, you know what I mean? That's what Mayover would do. But in this case, I think it's appropriate because it was Dylan White's last fight. He's still got Povetkin problems, and that fight is for the WBC interim title. If he goes off and fights Ortiz, Ruiz, whoever, that's not for any kind of WBC interim title. You're not going to get a mandatory position to challenge Tyson Fury off the back of fighting Luis Ortiz or Andy Ruiz. So, yeah, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about this rematch. Hopefully it does take place on March 6th. Going to be interesting to see if it's a fight camp type scenario or maybe they take it abroad. <laughs> yes, uh, rapidly changing situation at the moment. So we have to keep an eye on this. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below.